The world of manufacturing is poised for a big change thanks to 3D metal printing. Also known as additive manufacturing, companies first began experimenting with its possibilities about 20 years ago. But in the past six years, companies have finally begun to incorporate 3D metal printing in automated processes that feature laser or electron beam printers. CFM, a joint company between General Electric and Safran Aircraft Engines, is including 3D printed fuel nozzles designed to increase fuel efficiency and help reduce emissions in its next generation jet engines. And Pittsburgh-based Alcoa, which has been producing 3D metal printed parts for Boeing and Airbus, said in September it would invest $60 million to expand its additive manufacturing capabilities. One of the main benefits of 3D metal printing is that it can produce a part with the minimum material necessary. It also eliminates the need for a complex assembly of components because parts can be produced as one piece. Traditional manufacturing relies on the casting dies and machine tooling made for the sole purpose of building separate parts. With 3D printing, each part can be printed to exact specifications without those extra materials. 3D metal printing also produces parts that can be much lighter than those made through traditional manufacturing. Rather than cast parts from solid metal, engineers can now work with a range of alloys that they couldn't use before to create complex, lightweight lattice structures. The process also enables parts to be made with more geometric complexity without increasing the cost. Here's how the 3D metal printing process works. First, a part is designed with modeling software, where engineers also consider issues like layer thickness and whether support structures are needed in the printer. Next, engineers choose the type of metal powder to be used in the printer, based on the desired strength of the material and the surface finish. The metal powder is spread in a thin layer inside the printer, across its entire work surface. Then, a high temperature laser or electron beam draws the design, fusing the powder into a solid layer. This process is replicated layer upon layer until the part is complete. The process doesn't necessarily end there. 